Hello, welcome to my July 2014 unboxing of my Julep Maven box, as well as a recent haul I got from Julep Sales. Sorry about my dogs. <laughs> so first up, um, this was, I believe, a two-pack, and it was like a best friends collection. You know, I can't remember the name of it actually, but um, it came with two. It came with Camille and Ramona. Oops. And Ramona, um, I heard a lot of complaints on YouTube about it that it just wasn't pigmented and it was streaky and I actually had no problems with that. So here's my swatches. There's Ramona right there. That's one coat and it actually went on really nice. I was very impressed with it. I actually like that color a lot. And here's it a little bit closer. And then Camille. I've actually, this is a duplicate for me, but it's right there. Right there. It's just a really pretty color, so I did not mind getting a duplicate. Okay, next up is... My goodness, okay. Um, this was part of the sale, which is Maddie. And I got this for somewhere around $5, I think. And the swatch for that is right here. It's kind of like a magenta, hot pink, fuchsia kind of color. And the, all of these are one coat except two that I will point out. But very nice coverage in one coat. Okay, next was another two thing collection, which was those two. And those are called... Jules is the pink one and Lilu is the yellow. Now these two were the biggest disappointment. Here's the swatches, they're at the end there. Um, this is two coats with both of them and the yellow is still streaky. I don't know if you can tell, it's globby and streaky and neither one went on really well so I kind of wish I had gotten these two but um, Ramona impressed me, these two disappointed me. Next we have Candace. this was also on sale. And it's kind of a olivey brown glitter. And the swatch for that is right here. This is very pretty for fall. That's one coat. It probably could use a second, but you can get away with one, I think. Okay, next up, Scarlet, which is actually what I plan to name my daughter if I ever have a girl. It's not showing up. Oh, there we go. It's got kind of a Candy apple red glitter in the red. And the swatch is, ooh, I just stuck my finger in not dry swatches. Okay, the swatch for that is right here. You can't see the glitter in it, but there is fine cherry red glitter in it that's really pretty. Okay, now we have part of the birthstone collection. This is Coretta, which is the April Diamond birthstone. And that is right up there, and it is absolutely nothing special. I was putting off getting it, but I like my collections. I wanted the birthstone collection, but I'm like, it doesn't seem like, it's like not even really holographic, it's just basically silver glitter, which I have a ton of. I think they're fighting over a bone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Next one, big surprise, this was also on sale, Carmen. It looks very autumn-y and um, orangey, kind of reminded me, was it? I don't remember if it was called, oh, I think it was Tatiana. I thought it was going to be like that. But actually, it turned out that it's more like a pinky red, which is right here, with gold glitter in it. And it's gorgeous. I love it. Beautiful. Next we have Allie, another one on sale. Pretty blue. And that one. One coat is right there. And another burst stone. This is for May, which is the emerald, which is Priscilla. There we go. Oops. We have a domino effect. This is only one coat. I'm sure you can get more coverage with the second coat. Right there. It's okay. But like I said, it's more that I wanted to do the collection. <laughs> 
and uh, less so that I wanted to get those actual colors. My favorites so far are March and June. March was an aquamarine glitter, and June was this beautiful iridescent like pearl color. Loved it. Okay, now for the actual unboxing of the monthly Maven service. And I switched to the one where it's you pay for three months, but you get to swap out things, so I got from two different ones. Also, there's a coupon, $10 off, but it doesn't apply to mystery boxes, which kind of stinks. Um, you also got two little Tootsie Rolls that look like this. I missed out on the time that they gave a free polish as your free item, and I've been disappointed ever since. Okay, so I did get the beauty thing from this month, which is Bare Body Milk. It's a good size tube. Let's see how many ounces. 6.8 fluid ounces, but it looks bigger than that for some reason. But I'll have to try that. I have not tried it yet, so can't let you know whether I like it or not. And then the actual polishes for the month. We have... This is Beverly, which is... I was expecting a very dark, um, kind of like Judy color. But this is a lot lighter than I expected. It's a kind of a plum berry. And here is the swatch. It's showing up darker on my screen, but it's actually much lighter than that. Still a very pretty color, but I think I have stuff. Do I have stuff similar? Possibly. I'd have to look. Okay, and the final one was Linden. Oh, and Linden was the It Girl whereas Beverly was the bombshell. And this is what was described as like a swimming pool blue. And I like this one a lot. This is one coat as well with both of them. That's Linden. And I, I like the ability to swap out colors for other ones. I think they really should have done that all along. But um, that was my unboxing, and I hope you enjoyed. Keep watching and subscribe. Thanks.